In today's video, I'm gonna take the ChatGPT-01 preview model, the new model from OpenAI, and I'm gonna test it against ChatGPT-40 model. We're gonna do 10 different prompts, and I'm also gonna test it against a couple other things that I put together. One is a custom GPT that I built with my own set of instruction to try to replicate what the 01 model is doing in the background, which to some extent is chain of thought prompting. I'll explain how I built this in a second and I'll give you the exact prompt for it. I did cover this in a previous video as well, but I also created a Claude project powered by Claude 3.5 Sonnet with the same exact prompt, the system prompt that I gave to this custom GPT. So this should be a very comprehensive test to see if the O1 model could outperform not only GPT 4.0, which I'm assuming it will, but can it actually outperform this, which I covered in a different video with IQ and math test, but I think I got some better questions this time around and against the Claude project that I've put together here. Now, this time to improve the test and make it a little bit more scientific, I found a couple of resources for prompts. One was directly from OpenAI with a few examples that I thought would do a good job comparing this model versus the previous models. And I also went on this video right here, Matthew Berman, I'm sure you probably follow his channel, but he has a great test that he runs every time a new model comes out. So I took a few of his questions as well that I think do a really great job. I'll link to this video. This is where I got the prompts from, where he compared it, and he got fantastic results from GPT-01. Okay, the first test is gonna be how many R's in a strawberry? This is the very first question they have. And I'm gonna send this out. Okay, GPT-01, and I'll keep the orientation the same, so this is always gonna be on the right. There are three R's in the word strawberry, which is right, and GPT-40 even got this one right. Let me actually run it again, because sometimes it doesn't get it right. Wow, it got it right again. In my previous experiences, a lot of times, GPT-40 didn't know how to count letters in a word. Okay, we also have my GPT clone and we have our Claude project with the same set of instructions. So I'll show you the instructions here and I'll put this in the description if you wanna build your own as well, but I'll make this one publicly available too with a link where you could test it out. You are an AI assistant designed to think through problems step-by-step step using chain of thought prompting. Now, this is all I give it. This prompt is actually not even that long. It just has a few different steps to it. Understand the problem, carefully read and understand the user's questions. Break down the reasoning process is the next part. Explain each step. Arrive at the final answer after completing all the steps. Provide the final answer and solution. Review the thought process. So again, you could go ahead and copy and paste and create your own project or your own GPT. I have a ton of videos on this channel about creating both of these. These are my favorite AI tools available right now. Okay, here's the answer from both. And as you could see, the answer is much more comprehensive than you would get straight out of Claude and straight out of GPT-40 because of that system prompt. There are three R's in strawberry. This is GPT clone and three R's in strawberry. This is Claude. Okay, everybody got this one right. It's a pass. Okay, next one is another open AI question. This one says, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Scientifically speaking, the egg came first, but it's still a fun question to think about. And the reason is the egg came first because the first true chicken likely evolved from a mutation in an egg laid by another type of bird. Now this one, long before the chicken existed, other egg laying animals were producing eggs. And again, genetic mutation. So same answer from both. Okay, let's see our custom GPTM project here. Wow, these answers again, a lot more in depth. Let's see what we got out of it at the end. Conclusion, the egg came first. This is because the first chicken would have hatched from an egg laid by another bird, great. And same thing with Claude here. It says the egg came first and the egg was laid by a very close ancestor of the modern chicken. Okay, here is one from Matthew's video. Which number is bigger, 9.11 or 9.9? .9? And again, this is a problem for LLMs to get correctly. So it's very obvious for us, but for an LLM, this has always been challenging. Okay, I got the answer right away out of GPT-40. 9.9 .9 is bigger than 9.11. This one also 9.9 .9 is greater than 9.11. So they both got the answer. This one did take 19 seconds. I think this one took like two seconds. So they did both get it right. Okay, and with our Claude and GPT, 9.9 .9 is bigger than 9.11, same thing. So a pass again for all four. Okay, this next one, 
a marble is put in a glass cup, the glass is turned upside down and put on a table, then the glass is picked up and put in a microwave. Where's the marble? Explain your reasoning step by step. This is from Matthew as well, but OpenAI actually had a very close version. It looks like they took from his videos and added it to their uh, platform as well. Let's see, let's get to the conclusion. Now, O1 says, location of the marble on the table where the inverted glass was initially placed. The marble was left behind when the glass was picked up and moved. And over here, when the glass is picked up from the table, the marble falls to the bottom of the glass. So in the microwave, the marble is at the base of the glass touching the bottom of the microwave. Now, the actual answer here is this one, this O1 model got it right. The marble is left behind on the table, not inside of the microwave. So here, O1 does get one point over GPT-40. Now let's try the custom GPTM project. So for our clock project here, it says the most likely location of the marble is on the table, which is actually correct. But inside of our custom GPT, it didn't quite give me an answer. The marble is inside of the glass cup, but it's not telling me if it's on the table or the microwave. I'll just do one quick follow up. Okay, it's still not giving me an exact answer. It's telling me it's at the bottom of the cup. But I want to know, is it inside of the microwave or is it on the table like the other ones told me? And this one also thinks it's inside of the microwave. So the GPT clone here did not improve from the regular GPT-40. I got the same wrong response. Claude got it right here. I also just want to test it inside of our regular Claude here just to see what we get if we don't have a custom project. I want to see if the custom project helped. Okay, in this case, Claude, conclusion, the marble is on the table where the glass was originally placed. So Claude got it right, both inside of the regular chat and inside of our project. Our GPT-40 and our custom GPT both did not get it right and O1 got it right. Okay, this next one, again, I'm going to use O1 here and 40. How many words are in your response to this prompt? And I'm going to send it. This is from Matthew's video as well. This is something these models just can't do. They don't know how to count words correctly. I usually use Microsoft Word to get the word count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it was close, but definitely not 11. And I guess it's counting numbers as a word too. This one says the response contains five words. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Again, O1 got it right this time. And I guess with our custom GPT, this is not going to work very well because as part of the response, it has to give us the step-by-step -step thinking here where the other one was doing that behind the scenes with the O1 model. But as I'm looking at this, let's just take this one. Now I will count the words. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one is right. This one is 16. And I counted that was 15 actually. So if it's counting the comma maybe as a word, but it was 15 here. So again, this one, I don't think the custom GPTs are going to do a good job. Let's try the cloud project. Probably going to have the same exact problem because, yep, it's going to think out loud with the chain of thought prompting. Okay. And again, not a very useful answer. So for this kind of thing, O1 is actually the first model that has been doing a good job from all the tests that I've seen. Okay, this next one is a hallucination test to see if chain of thought prompting or this O1 model, however it's working in the background, is gonna solve the hallucination problem. I saw this in a comment section of that same video that I've been referring to. Someone asked for a hallucination test. Describe each of the following mango cultivars. Here are four, and this one is not one. So let's see if it's gonna hallucinate and tell us about a little more about this one. This is a good hallucination test actually. Okay, so with the O1 model is telling us this one right here, that this is something that it doesn't have information about. So it might be a newer or less widely known variety. Okay, so it did give us an answer, but it didn't kind of make it up. It, this is the right answer. It doesn't know because the information cutoff doesn't have that knowledge. But look at what 4.0 did. This is an example of hallucination. A relatively newer variety, the lemon cream mango has a distinctive sweet tart flavor. <laughs> so it's just like totally making something up that shouldn't be there, right? Based on that prompt, this is the more accurate answer. Hey, I don't have the information on that. 
but this time it made it up. Okay, here inside of cloud project, this project we have, it says, I'm less certain about this one. Okay, so it didn't totally make it up, but I believe it's also from Florida. Okay, it's hallucinating a bit, likely yellow, but you can see it's unsure. It's just not completely making it up. Look at our GPT clone here. Its flavor profile is making that up, right? So this time, GPT clone, this is the GPT 4.0, and the GPT clone, not the 01 model. The 01 model got it right. It says, hey, I'm not sure. I have a cutoff date of my knowledge. So again, Claude is keeping up, but GPT 4.0 is falling behind the new 01 model. Okay, here's another good one. There are three killers in the room. Someone enters the room and kills one of them. Nobody leaves the room. How many killers are left in the room? Explain your reasoning step by step. And right here, our GPT-40 says the answer is that there are three killers in the room. That is correct. And it says the two original killers plus the new one. Okay, that is right. Let's see what O1 gave us. Oh, looks like I hit some kind of content violation here. But there are three killers left in the room, two original and one new one. Okay, so we got that one right, even though... We had some kind of error here, but it did conclude. Okay, with our custom GPT, there are three killers in the room, two original, and the new one over here. What do we got out of our Claude projects? And we got three, therefore there are three killers in the room. Okay, looks like they all got the right answer. No clear winner here. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna do one coding test, which I did in the original test. Write a game of chess in Python, and I wanna see if I could run this on my computer here. Okay, here's the first game we got. This is GPT-40, not the 01 model. And this time it decided to give me a much simpler game than I've gotten before. Oh, wow, we can't even drag and drop these pieces. We have to type in which part of the board we want to move into. I don't even know. It doesn't even have marking, so I don't have the board memorized like that. And okay, so this is a total fail out of 4.0. Again, it's only one prompt. I'm just doing this off the very first prompt to just make it a more fair test because obviously with back and forth, I could refine this a lot more. I've done this test with other videos as well. Okay, here's the new game of chess. This is what I got out of 01. And these pieces right here, it told me where to download them. So it gave me a link and I went and downloaded these PNGs from the link it gave me. And I just had to name them this way so the code could pull them into the game. Let's see the logic of the game. Okay, that worked right. Move that here, move this here. This should take this piece. I should take this piece. Oh, wow. That is working a lot better than before. Wow, this is incredible. I was not able to get this to work at all. The first time I tried it, the first day this came out and it looks like everything is working exactly as it should. Okay, I'm in check now. Let's see if it could move. Okay, so it does not understand check yet. It looks like that's where it's missing because right there, I technically couldn't move a different piece. I had to block. Okay, and game's not over. Okay, so almost there. I would say 80% there. It just doesn't have some end game logic. And I actually think it gave me a little bit of text inside of the chat telling me this is missing a few things like castling and end game logic so i could maybe with one follow-up get it to work but wow this is incredible this is much further than i've ever got with any large language model and last i'll try the chess game inside of claw 3.5 sauna just a regular chat i don't think the project or the custom gpts are going to be very appropriate for this kind of thing so i'll just give it a prompt okay so here's the game out of claude now as you could see the pieces don't look like chess pieces because claude just can't get those to me because it doesn't have web access. So it didn't give me a link. So if I was just using Claude, I wouldn't have those pieces, those PNGs to replace it. But let's look at the game logic here. Okay, this is nice. These dots look good. This looks good. Let me just play the same pieces here. Let me take this. Oh, okay, it crashed. It looks like it just crashed the game. Let me try to relaunch it again. Let me see why it crashed. Let me try. Okay, you can't take that piece. Okay, so you could see 01 when it comes to just some simple coding test. It does beat Claude 3.5 Sonnet in my early testing. Again, I'm just doing some fun game testing. I'm not a developer by trade, so 
this is what I'm getting and I'm just showing you here in real time of what it gave me. Okay, now if we take everything side by side, you can see the regular GPT-4 is falling behind. My custom GPT didn't do a much better job either, but Claude is keeping up both with projects and inside of the chat, but O1 did win this entire test. If we take all the different questions as I asked it, including the coding question, GPT-01 or OpenAI-01 in the preview mode right now, and it's supposed to even improve when it comes out of preview, is the winner of this test. And I also wanted to let you know that we're making updates to skillleap.ai. That's our AI course and community platform. So we have over 20 courses that you get access to with a free trial. If it's a good fit, then it's a simple monthly membership. And I'm updating all those courses adding things related to the new GPT, when you would want to use the new chat GPT model, when you still want to use the GPT-40 model for very practical application when it comes to entrepreneurship, marketing, and content creation. So I'll link that below and we have an active community as well where you could ask me any questions. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you on the next one.